Um, he's got, you know, a supply lead of 40 at the moment. Um, and that, that is all army, really, because uh, their working differences aren't that different. Um, so I think, really, uh, if this is Dark Forces to lose. Uh, I think he's in such a strong position after that early attack. Um, he's just able to sit back, macro up. Oh, he's getting pneumatized carapace, so we could be seeing... Um, well, that's just quite interesting. He could be seeing maybe if he gets drops later as well. It could be seeing some drop play. Otherwise, he just likes fast overlords, apparently. Um, and now he's pumping up some hydras. He's getting his third at the gold. Huge economic lead he's going to have. Hasu now with uh, two Colossi out. Uh, and he does... Does he have the Thermal Lance? Yes, he does have the Thermal Lance upgrade. Very powerful upgrade. And he's producing another Observer, actually. Uh, he's obviously um, quite worried about what uh, Dark Force is doing. It uh, looks like Dark Force might be pushing pushing in for some aggression here. He might just be poking at the front. He's got just... Should be getting plus one uh, missile attack soon. And he's getting Hydralis range as well. Um, but yeah, I, <laughs> I think it's going to take an incredible engagement from Hasu to be able to overcome this early uh, deficit from that early attack. He looks like he's going to maybe try and take his third here. And I think that's probably a good idea. Um, maybe he should just sort of go, build up as many units as possible and go for, see what damage he can do to the Zerg. Uh, I think he does need to be aggressive to try and catch up a bit. It looks like he might be pushing out here. But, um, I mean, Dark Force has so many units. Uh, I mean, Spy's still sort of a 35 supply lead um, and 8 harvesters ahead for, for Dark Force. So, really, it's um, going to be tough for Hasu to come back now, I think. But we'll see what he can do. Uh, he's a very good player. He's in the TSL, actually, I think. I, th I don't know if he's playing tomorrow or later on in the week, but I'm pretty sure he's in the TSL finals. So, uh, obviously, he's a very competent player. Sorry, I'm about to cough. <coughs> Thank you. Pardon me. Um, so, it looks like he's going to try and secure his third. Uh, getting plus one ground waves. And also, he's gone for a Stargate and Void Ray. Uh, Void Ray Colossus is a very powerful build against Zerg. Uh, th that is the sort of definition of the Protoss Death Ball. Um, but I uh, just don't know if he's going to be able to deal with this, especially as um, ha Dark Force's Spire has just finished. He's going to be able to start. He's instantly producing four Corruptors, getting Flyer Attack, uh, getting plus two Missile Attack as well. Uh, and look at this creep spread from Dark Force. This is excellent, isn't it? How many queens does he have? Uh, three queens, yeah. So he's got a queen on each base, but um, he is sort of pumping tumors out. Uh, and it's all the way now. I mean, the Protoss player has to really can't... He sort of steps out his front door and he's on creep, which isn't the nicest welcome mat, really. Um, so, yeah, it's just going to make Darfels really confident. He knows exactly where Hasu is and what he's going to be doing. Uh, and that's just going to make it really tough for him. Uh... He's throwing up three gateways as a barrier here <laughs> on one pylon. That pylon's a bit run rule. Uh, and loads and loads of cannons. Tons of investment here by Hasu. Uh, this is really dangerous because if Tarfor spots it and he has done, this is all going to have to be cancelled because Hasu's army's out of position. So uh, that, that was a big investment because you do lose. Uh, I mean, the unit's lost tab is a bit... Uh, uh, mal-aligned when it comes to showing buildings lost when you cancel them because it gives you the full cost where actually you get 75-80% back as far as I know but um, so that did actually cost Hasu minerals and resources that he can't really afford to lose look at that supply lead 33 supply ahead now uh, Dark Force uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he just decides to sort of 1A in uh, he's got such a lead I mean despite the number of Colossi he's got like 4 or 5 Colossi I don't know uh, which is normally really f four classes. It's normally really frightening for a Zerg player. Um, but here we go. Here we go. The big engagement. Dark Force attacking down the ramps. A nice force from Hasu, but not blocking off entirely. There we go. But the corrupt is coming in on the flank. Going to take down these void rays and Colossi with ease. Uh, supply dropping rapidly for Hasu. And uh, Dark Force's macro just too good. Uh, I think he's going to be e easily able to crush this. Um, that's nothing Hasu can do. Colossi, a bit of micro, but the, so many corruptors, they're going to go down very quickly. Uh, and yeah, there's the G. No, not the GG, just just a G. I don't know if that was a bit of BM but or not. I don't know. Uh, apparently, someone has stayed in the game and is watching Dark Force kill this Nexus. I don't know who that is. But someone apparently wants to see what it looked like when you kill a Nexus. There we go. How exciting. Um... Who was that? 
Anyway, uh, so there we go. That's the end of the, the series of three, as far as I know. I believe it was a best of three. And uh, looks like Dark Forces won it 2-1. Uh, with, really, it came down to that early aggression that we saw in game one, which cost him. But in game three, it's uh, really won it for him. Uh, so a great timing. He's cut drones, cut gas, and just pumped a huge number of units. And uh, Hasu sort of thought he was nice to safe with his three gate expand, uh, but he wasn't. I mean, a really great coming in with the Zerglings, pushing the roaches up at the top, uh, and really put Hasu back by a huge amount. And that just you know, once you get an early lead like that, with Zerg, you can just uh, you know take an expansion at will. Uh, he did actually get his fourth up in the end. Uh, we saw in the first video I uh, casted Damaga thought he had an early lead after stopping an attack um, and double ex sort of went for a third and then a fourth while teching uh, and Dark Force obviously a more sensible player well not necessarily a more sensible player but um, decided not to do that which I think was a good idea um, and really it paid off because uh, he, he just was able to macro up after that huge lead but didn't take too many risks uh, you know he kept a good army size up kept, kept producing units as well as drones um, and that won him the game so I hope you've enjoyed this series of three between Dark Force and um, uh, who was it? Hasu. Uh, let me know. Do you want single games, series of games? I always think series are quite more interesting because then you see how players sort of met a game, game to game. Uh, but let me know what you think. If there's anything you like or don't like, please let me know in your comments. If you think you want to like the video, press the little thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos from Savcast, uh, please subscribe. Okay, so this is Savcast saying goodbye.